Hello my friends and welcome to World War II History Today, a new daily series where we roll back the clock and take a look at some of the key events that shaped the outcome of the Second World War on this very day in history. Today's date, November 3rd. On November 3rd, 1936, President of the United States Franklin Delano Roosevelt wins re-election over Republican Governor Alf Landon of Kansas, taking every state but Maine and Vermont in the process. Two years later, on November 3rd, 1938, a young Luftwaffe fighter pilot named Vera Mulders scores his 14th and final aerial victory of the Spanish Civil War with the Condor Legion. Mulders would go on to become the first fighter pilot in history to score 100 air-to-air -air victories and would be appointed to Inspector of the Luftwaffe Fighter Units by age 28. On November 3rd, 1939, Franklin Roosevelt implements the Cash and Carry Policy, allowing the still-neutral U.S. to sell non-military goods to countries already involved in the conflict, so long as they followed two rules. One, all purchases needed to be paid in cash immediately. And two, the purchasing nation was responsible for all overseas transportation. On November 3rd, 1940, Londoners experienced their very first night in over eight weeks without being hit by German bombers as the Blitz comes to a close. On November 3rd, 1941, German troops push into Kursk and capture the city for the first time during the war as part of an effort to shore up the southern flank of the 2nd Panzer Army's assault on Moscow. That same day, General Heinz Guderian noted in his journal that the first frost of the year has hit. German forces are about to face their first brutal Russian winter as the temperature plummets and conditions worsen. On the other side of the world, on November 3rd, 1942, U.S. Marines are successful in their attack on the Japanese stronghold at Point Cruz, Guadalcanal, as part of the Solomon Islands campaign. The operation was intended to further secure U.S. forces' hold on Henderson Field, which had only been secured days earlier. On November 3rd, 1943, the 8th Air Force launches a 400-bomber raid on Kriegsmarine installations at Wilhelmshaven. That same day, 1,200 Jews arrive by train to Auschwitz from a slave labor camp in southern Poland, Nearly 900 are killed within hours of arrival at the camp. On November 3rd, 1944, the very first prototype of the Focke-Wulf TA-152 is completed. The TA-152 would be the final iteration in a highly successful line of FW-190 fighters, but would be produced too late to serve the Luftwaffe in any large numbers. And finally, on November 3rd, 1945, the Pol trial came to a close. The Pol trial was the fourth of 13 war crimes trials at Nuremberg and centered on leading figures in the SS Economic and Administrative Office. 14 of 17 defendants were found guilty, including Oswald Paul, the head administrator of the Nazi Final Solution and Concentration Camp Program. Oswald and three others were sentenced to death. So that is what happened today, November 3rd, in the history of the Second World War. Please be sure to subscribe right here for your daily dose of World War II history. And until next time, be well. We'll see you tomorrow.